I was going up to town by train, it must be about mid-morning, uh, <clears throat> and I was on Heather Green Station just waiting for my train, and on one of the little uh, metal uprights on the fencing, lo and behold, was one of these ladybirds. Picked it up and had a look at it and realised it had considerably more uh, other little spots than one supposed than the normal ones. So I picked it up, put it on my thumb and actually showed it to one of my fellow passengers and said, hey look, this is one of the killer ladybirds. And uh, she seemed to be remarkably unimpressed by the whole thing. Anyway, so that was the end of that instance. So killer ladybirds sort of came to the top of my um, memory. On Monday, uh, I was out in the garden, again, a warm, fairly still day, and realised that there were at least half a dozen of these just on the wall outside, on the gutters, so I suspect they were trying to sort of find little hidey holes. Mm. Well, one of the things that they thought maybe was that these were coming in from flowers, on flowers from the continent. Um, that could possibly be. I mean, there's so much movement of flowers, and of course we all love flowers in and around our houses. This is the first time I'd ever seen them in this garden. I started to collect them in a little uh, packet. Um, and... Um, then I thought, well, realised that they hadn't been seen, I thought, in southeast London at all. So I thought, well, hang on, this, this might be a first. So I collected some in a little film canister and wrapped them up. And having looked at the website, they saw that Dr. Majerus of Cambridge University, the genetics department there, was interested in them. So I pack packeted them all up and got them ready for the post. If you happen to find a killer ladybird in your garden, contact the Department of Genetics, Downing Street, Cambridge, CB23EH.